hey guys, so your mouse started doing double click. Uh, you, you click once and it does double click. So uh, first, let's have to test this. Uh, just right in the browser, uh, mouse test. And the first, the first uh, result should be browse mouse even test page. Uh, this is nice page because you don't doesn't need to you don't need to download anything. You, you see, it's working in the browser. So you click you click here and you can see the results. So if you if your mouse is doing double click, you should see uh, on single click you should see double click. And I do double click, you can see double click. So your probably your mouse will be probably faulty. Uh, this is most uh, most often caused by the hardware problem. Your switch in your mouse is broken. Uh, if you have your mouse still in the warranty, you can try to return it and get a repair. But if the mouse is out of warranty, which is most often when this happens uh, in the older mouses, you can do anything. Uh, first. Let's let's make sure that it's a really uh, problem with the is a hardware problem. You can you can test it really easily when you go to the mouse setting, and you go to the additional mouse setting, mouse options, and you switch the primary and the secondary button. And when the buttons are switched, well, don't forget that it's switch. You have to click. Uh, you can start clicking uh, the the other button and see if the if the problem is still there. And if it's still there, it's definitely a hardware problem. Uh, let me switch it back. So what we will need for this, we will need to order new switches. Uh, in most, if when you when you uh, when you disassemble your mouse, you will see the name of the switches which are used there. Most often, it's uh, this type of switch, D two F C seven and ten. So let's. Let's search for this uh, on eBay, right? Uh, you will be surprised, but these switches are like super, super cheap. So uh, the prices are this uh, do not matter, but it's it's roughly uh, two dollars, two dollars for five pieces, and uh, don't be yeah one one dollar sixty. <laughs> it's super cheap, and you get five. Five these chip, uh, chips uh, switches, and don't be fooled. Uh, even the most expensive, like Razer mouses, are using these the same switches as the really cheap mouses. And uh, these switches are usually made uh, for usually five, uh, five or eight or ten millions click. So if you want some better chips, uh, you can see it's a it's a switch for the Razer and uh, Apple. Uh, and it's 4 GBP, but it's the same chip uh, switch which which were there uh, for one dollar. So really, there is no no need to buy uh, like the expensive one. It's the same. It's the same switch. So pick the one which has the fastest shipping, and you should be uh, good to go. Okay, so let's get to it. You will need a flip screwdriver. Uh, it's a size zero. So just peel off the the rubber. From the bottom of the mouse, there should be four screws. Uh, I have only three because I lost one before. Uh, I already changed it, the switches in this mouse two years ago, so this mouse is four years old, and I had to change them uh, each two years. Uh, usually, the left mouse button broke, so just remove the screws, uh, remove the top, and you will have to unplug it the top side from the main motherboard. Okay, so next we have to remove uh, six screws. Three uh, are next to the wheel uh, on the little board, which is like a platform next to the wheel. So we remove these three screws. Uh, Next are the two screws uh, down the board, and I usually mark the screws should be all the same. But usually I mark uh, mark them so I know where they belong. And that's it. We have the motherboard. Uh, yeah, don't forget to unplug the connector, and we have the 
and the board removed uh, from the from the case. The soldering. This will be really uh, pro uh, really problematic. You will need uh, you will need some tools. Uh, for example, the soldering pump, or the second second most uh, common is the soldering braid. Uh, you should be able to buy it uh, in some in some shop nearby. Uh, it's quite. It should be. It's it's quite cheap and easy to use. Uh, it will be much simpler to remove it. I don't have any of, of this. I don't have the pump or the braid or anything. And I was still able to remove this, the solder, but it was really painful and really hard job. I had to apply some mechanical pressure, and I could uh, easily broke my uh, my my mouse. So how I was able to remove it without a braid? Uh, the switch has three pins, and each one is soldered to the board. And I did. Uh, I always melted the tin over one pin and pulled it a little bit uh, back. And I did this for each three pins, and each time I move it a little bit, and in the end I was able to remove uh, completely the switch with three pins out of the board. Okay, so keep in mind that it took much longer to for me to remove it, but I cut the video. So how to get the new switch in? Uh, because the holes are not cleared of the of the tin, uh, I had to do the same action as before, just uh, reversed. So I pushed the the new switch, the pins of the new switch into it, and I always melted the the hole uh, over one, one pin, and I always push it more and more. So this this way I was able to uh, put the new switch in. Okay, next we can just. Uh, Screw it back, back to, to the board. Uh, it should be six screws, two or uh, three on the main board, and three on the little platform next to the wheel. And second, third, and don't forget to to plug, plug everything in. And before putting it all together, we can test it that it actually works. So you can you can easily plug the mouse to the computer, and when you click click the switch, uh, it should work correctly. So as you can see, the mission was successfully uh, done. Before putting the top top case, don't forget to plug it, and we can add the four screws and uh, the rubber rubber sliders back in. And that's it. It was quite easy and it saved us a lot of money. It would cost like 80, 80 dollars to buy a new mouse.